turn up to this Valent EcoFit Sustain Combi Boiler. They were saying the heating's on all the time. It's a new build, so it's zoned upstairs and downstairs. Check the first programmable stat. That's not cooling. Second, not cooling either. But the boiler was. So let's head up to the 10 way. First thing I find is the two zone valves. Whip out the 10 way. See what we got. So, first thing I'm going to check is the grey. We got permanent life to the zone valves. Yeah. We're getting 240. Then we're going to check the brown for one of the valves. Nothing. Nothing on the other valve. But we're getting 240 on orange, which is a bit backwards because the browns are, the, are from the stats to the valves. So I wonder where that's actually coming from, having 240 on orange. It's a bit of a strange one. So I have shown a few people how to do this before to work out where it's coming from. I pull carefully, pull it out of the terminal, pull the two oranges apart. So the left is the zone valve for upstairs, right is the zone valve for downstairs, which is where they were saying the heating was constantly on. The terminal that it went in, that would be a switch live back down to the boiler. So it could be coming from either or valve or the boiler. So this little test determines it. So it's coming from the valve. So what's happening is the gray is obviously stuck, sending power through to orange. And then that's what's keeping the boiler on. So the customer originally called me there for a faulty room stat, but we've just proved now that it's a faulty valve instead. Grab a Honeywell 2 port from the van. Start draining down into the kitchen sink. Nice and easy. Open the air vents. You can see that that was freely open anyway. It's completely jammed. 32mm wear a spanner. We'll undo that. That one's out. There's plenty, plenty of play in it, which was lucky. Just pull it apart, pop it in. Vent it. I always fill it back up before I start doing the wiring just to see if there's any leaks. Two port valve, five cables, neutral, earth. Your brown is your call from your room stat or cylinder stat. Your orange is your feedback to the boiler to fire the boiler once the micro switch has been made. And grey is permanent life. My first day using my new uni light neck light. It's brilliant for tight little cupboards like this. Plenty of light, you can angle it to where you want it. Love it. So now all that's wired in, I've pulled all the terminals out so we can do some final testing. I've looked down by the boiler and the power's back on. It's not cooling now, which is good. 240 on grey, which is what we had before, it's permanent live, which is what you'd expect. We've got 240 on the brown, no. It's the zone valve for downstairs, a new one. Zone valve on upstairs, no. Orange. We're not getting 240 this time with the new valve head on. Start calling for the heat on the stat downstairs. Yes. Boiler picks up the man, starts firing. But that's not enough for me. I want to go back upstairs and just electrically test it. So we turn the stat up downstairs. We're getting 240 now to the zone valve. That opens the valve. Sends it back on orange to fire the boiler. Happy days. So I thought I'd draw this diagram so that you can see a combi boiler with a programmable stat for zone downstairs and upstairs. So that's two programmable stats, two zone valves. 
and call it an S plan, but combi with two zone valves. So we've got permanent live to both programmable stats and the boiler has a permanent live also. And then you've got permanent live to graze on the, on the two zone valves. So on this one, for example, the heating was on constantly downstairs. So I went up to the airing cupboard, whipped out the 10 way, checked on brown. Was I getting 240 on brown? I wasn't, but I was getting 240 on orange. So what was happening was the head had stuck. So permanent gray was linked over to orange, firing the boiler constantly. So I, in that instance, I had to change the whole valve. Um, but if I was getting 240 on brown, then, you know, it would have been the programmable room stat that was at fault. But I've just drawn it out. This will be the next chapter. Well, one of the diagrams in the next chapter of the Breakdown Bible. So if you're interested in that, just give us a shout.